Hi, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. My name is Shane, the founder of MyGo. We've got a really exciting test today, one you've been waiting for for a long time, getting very impatient with me, ordering on harassment, the messages. <laughs> yeah, it's the um, Horticulture Lighting Group QB96 Elite V2. Uh, DIY board, um, little SMD DIY board, very nice little unit. I've been testing it away today and I have the full results for you. Just uh, another little point is that I've been getting a lot of uh, comments and questions about updating the grow lights chart. Just to let you know, I'm going to be doing a 2019 update of the best grow lights available and the ones I've tested over the last 12 months and some of the previous ones that are, are still relevant. And I'll be doing that update a couple of, in a couple of weeks time. I have a few more lights to test that you've been requesting heavily. Um, Optic One XL, uh, Grow Northern, Tellius Lights, uh, a few others, Street Light, um, Electric Sky, good few lights that I'm going to be including as well on this. So please be patient, I'll get that out to you soon. So what about this HLG Elite V2? So it's a lovely little board, um, just unpacked it there today. Uh, you get a very simple little package. I bought just the board and heatsink package. So you get the, the, just those two things, the thermal interface material, a little pad um, in between the two, which um, you just simply fit down in between them and screw the board down onto the heatsink with the thermal, thermal interface material in between. And then you connect up your wiring. So you got two little uh, connectors here and you just um, connect your positive and your negative into there. You can use solid core or multi-core um, stranded and just twist it and solder the ends. About 10 mil, poke them in, that's it. Um, and then you connect your cable to, 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 in this case, what I've used is the Meanwhile HLG uh, 120 54B driver. So this is rated 50, 455 volts. This is rated the same voltage. This is rated up to 4.8 amps, I think it is. Um, but really, I don't think it, it, it can be run up to that level, um, not as reliably, and it won't be as, as cool as it should be. I ran it at 2.3 amps um, for a couple of hours and was just checking the temperature, and it seemed to be running at a, at a, at a very acceptable temperature at the 2.3 amps. At that current and voltage, it draws 138 watts from the wall. That's here at 220 volts here in Ireland. Um, and that's what I tested it at. So, connected it all together and hung it up. There are not uh, great hanging um, fixtures here. I think you can see them. There's two holes on each side of the pin fin heatsink, and you've got to hang them from here. Because the heatsink kind of comes around, you can't really hang it with the simple, it's got to come out and around. Anyway, you got to mess around with it a bit, so I just used uh, steel wire cables just to hang it up for the test. Next thing was to decide or figure out how high to hang it at. So, using the 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter, two foot by two foot um, test area with the mylar walls, uh, and calibrating it so that the center measurement, which is going to be the highest, so the peak power measurement, is a thousand power. So set it up for that, which is 27 centimeters off the grow area, and started testing away. Uh, first thing, of course, as usual, is to do a spectrum test. So use the Sensitec Passport to test the spectrum, and you can see it there, it's got the, you can see the mixture of white LEDs and then the red and orange LEDs giving the highlights there on the spectrum. And I think the color temperature 3.4K. You can see it there anyway on the screen. And then we started testing. So yeah, closed up the grow room environment, uh, used the SQ500 uh, sensor, uh, spectra radio, or sorry, quantum sensor by a Sensitec and took 16 measurements evenly across the grow area uh, to get the average power level in a two by two. So at 138 watts, 27 centimeters high height, 
the total power output was, uh, or the average power output across the 2x2 was 766. This is a total power output of 275 ppfd and when you divide that by the 139 watts you get a 1.98 ppfd per watt efficiency. So it's very very good, it's right up there with um, Migro, uh, HLGs, uh, all those good lights, uh, so nice and efficient. And uh, yeah, got a great spectrum. And yeah, it's a, it's a lovely little unit. Um, enjoy testing it. And just glad you can't uh, harass me about it anymore. <laughs> so yeah, we'll put it up on the board soon. Hope you enjoyed and take care. Cheers.